The Zurich-based bank is the highest profile target in a U.S. probe that has cast a shadow over the Swiss banking industry since larger rival UBS, UBS and VX, became the first major lender to settle tax charges five years ago. And Switzerland's left-wing Social Democrats, SB, on Sunday called for Dalgan to step down saying he and other executives represented part of the problem, raising the stakes for Dalgan as he seeks to settle the tax case with U.S. authorities. And, if you're justifying your high salary with the responsibility you carry, then you cannot duck that responsibility in an emergency, SB President Christian Lerat said in a statement. And Lavrat's comments bear the hot-button issue of bankers' pay in Switzerland with the pursuit of Swiss banks by U.S. authorities over untaxed funds held offshore, which has intensified for Credit Suisse in recent weeks. And Credit Suisse, the country's second-largest bank behind UBS, lifted chief executive Dalgan's pay by more than a quarter last year to 9.8 million Swiss francs, $11.06 million despite not meeting all performance targets and a hike in litigation costs related to the U.S. probe. And centrist BDP politician Martin Landold, a former banker who spent three years at rival UBS, UBS and VX, stopped short of calling for Dalgan to leave now but said a banker might consider resigning once the tax case is settled. And, when a solution for the U.S. problem is found, depending on what the settlement is, I would find it appropriate for Dalgan to take responsibility and make way for a new beginning, Landolt told Reuters on Monday. And, this is necessary to ensure Credit Suisse's image doesn't suffer, for client trust to be restored, and for the bank's own credibility. And Credit Suisse declined to comment. And rotting fish and Dalgan, a U.S. citizen and 24-year veteran of Credit Suisse, has been a lightning rod for pay criticism since 2010, when a five-year share bonus program dropped up his regular salary to 90 million francs. And shareholders grilled Dalgan and other top executives over their pay at Credit Suisse's shareholder meeting on Friday. And as the saying goes a fish rots from the head down. In this case, the head is Brady Daugan, retail shareholder Ernst Schmidt told the shareholder meeting before asking Daugan to step down. And however, Dubai-related votes were ultimately approved. And negotiations between Credit Suisse and the U.S. Justice Department to resolve the long-running investigation have heated up since Daugan testified before a Senate panel in February. And there, Daugan said the bank would accept wrongdoing by its staff blaming a small group of Credit Suisse's private bankers for the behavior. And on Friday, Swiss asset management firm Swiss Partners Group agreed to pay $4.40 million as part of the tax evasion probe, a move that could influence the course of the Credit Suisse case, according to a source familiar with the bank's investigation. And, additional reporting by Oliver Hurd and Joshua Franklin, editing by Eric Billingham and back to top and Thomson Reuters is the world's largest international multimedia news agency, providing investing news, world news, business news, technology news, headline news, small business news, news alerts, personal finance, stock market, and mutual funds information available on Reuters.com, video, mobile and interactive television platforms. Thomson and Reuters journalists are subject to an editorial handbook which requires fair presentation and disclosure of relevant interests. NNYSE and Amex quotes delayed by at least 20 minutes. NASDAQ delayed by at least 15 minutes. For a complete list of exchanges and delays, please click here.